with Sean McCoy of the Eagles is here on behalf of the Madden NFL 15 cover vote, which is now currently in the quarterfinals. And also, he's advanced with the first round of the Madden cover vote and is now in the quarterfinals taking on Andrew Luck. So log on to ESPN.com slash Madden vote to vote now and every day. Now, LaShawn, it's Michael and Don here. How you doing? How was going on? How you doing today? We're doing great, but I wonder, do you really want to be on the Madden cover? That usually brings bad luck. Oh, I don't believe in that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been a fan of Madden for so long, and it would be an honor to be on the cover. Do players play Madden a lot? I'm not sure a player. I know I do. Uh-huh. Um, I know a lot of teenagers play it. So, yeah, have fun. It's something that you kind of, after a hard workout, you go home and you all link up and get on the game and play. Are you always yourself? Uh, you said do I use myself? Yeah. <laughs> um, every once in a while. <laughs> um, yeah, why not? I, I like our offense. We, uh, we, we tend to play pretty well in that game. All right, you had mentioned that you think Vic is going to be the starting quarterback for the Jets. Is that more of a compliment to Vic, or are you just not sure that Geno Smith is ready to compete with him in camp? I just know how good Mike is, man. He, something, about him, something about him is when he competes, um, he has something to prove. Uh, he really makes it known, you know, and he takes it, he takes it to heart. And that's not how good he is. I think that he might it's take away his, his um, injuries and look at him as a player. I mean, he's lights out. Are you surprised that your team let him go? Uh, not really. I think because Nick is uh, I think it's the guy for the future. I think with our team, and he, he showed he can really play when, when Mike got hurt. Uh, and we know what type of player we have in Nick Foles. So that's not really a big surprise. There seems to be a connection between Marty Morningweg and Michael Vick. What makes them a good connection, OC to QB? Well, the first thing is Mike is a playmaker. Mike's a playmaker. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and when Mike is not pressured and, and the guys are blocked up and he has time, he'll deliver. When Mike is accurate, and he still can run. So I just know what type of player he is. And then you add along uh, Marty with that. I played with Marty with quite some time, and he's one of my favorite OCs I've ever had. Man. And I, I like Marty to this day. I love him. So if he's healthy, you think that Vic will start on the Jets, LaShawn? There's no question. No question. No. Um, I just... The same with Gino Ayo last year, uh, and then just seeing Mike playing with him for a couple of years. Uh, and, 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 I mean, his name is, he is who he is. He's fighting with Vic, and, uh, and, and he still can play. Now, the only question with him, we're talking with LaShawn McCoy of the Eagles here on the Michael K. Show, is can he stay healthy? And he's been injured a lot. You've seen him. Do you think he could stay healthy over a 16-game season? Now, I can't really answer that. I mean, that's something that, that Mike battles year in, year out, just to stay healthy. Um, like I said, if, he, if he's been taking care of as far as God is blocking their assignment and not, not taking on hits. And Mike also has to do a better job of just, <laughs> just sliding. So things where he's such a, a playmaker, he gets out there and, and make, he makes things happen. And this time I'm like, Mike, just slide. Just go down. Just go out of bounds. You know, so I, I've been on both sides of the fence with Mike. And hopefully he can stay healthy because God's willing to if, if he can. Now, you're a very opinionated individual for sure. There's a bunch of things we wanted to tackle with you, and one of them was the Tim Tebow comments. What did Tim ever do to you? Uh, I'm actually cool with Tim. It, was, <laughs> well, it wasn't an interview. And like right. That. It was a guy from TMZ, and I didn't know he was a, a reporter. It was just like a joke. I was walking past, and he was saying something like, you know, be as good as uh, – someone being a quarterback is good as Tim Tebow. Something he was saying to me. And I made a joke about it. Uh, I guess it blew up. Or whatever. I mean, it is what it is. It was just a joke. Did you ever hear from Tebow after that? Did he call you? Nah. <laughs> that was a good time, man. <laughs> and if he did, I would tell him, hey, man, it was just a joke. Right. I had a couple of appearances with him, man. He was actually a nice guy. I just think the joke got taken uh, out of contact. Now, with the um, with the Eagles, let's talk about the Giants. They've made a lot of changes, a lot of free agent signings. They've been thrilled with their draft. Do you consider them a threat to the Eagles this year? Uh, right now, we're just really focused on the Eagles. Um, we'll, we'll pass that, that path when it comes. Uh, the Giants, they always seem to have a, a nice team, no matter how they start, how they finish. They always seem to have a, a nice group of guys. So, you know, we'll, we'll cross that path uh, when we get there. What team in the division do you hate the most? It used to, it used to be the Giants, but uh, they, they got rid of a lot of different players. Um, so now it's more just, I guess everybody. Everybody's the same type of dislike for each other. 
All right, now they got rid of a couple of players, so you don't hate them anymore. So who are the players that they got rid of that you didn't like? Uh, I really like um, what's his name, um, uh, OC. Mm. Oh, really? How come? We had our beef. We had our beef back and forth. Uh, more of an inside thing there. We know about it. It's really old, though. I, I, yeah. I know about this. Yeah, that uh, goes back you know. a few years ago, uh, for yeah. sure. Um, and also, like, I think, like, the guys, now I'm actually friends with Brandon Jacob, but, like, playing them guys with him and Bradshaw, the, 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 the look was different. You know, they were way more aggressive. They were more chippy, you know. So the defense had something against them. Yeah, you know, it was more them type of things. It was more like, the personalities of the team, where a guy like Jacob, aggressive, talks a lot, you know, after the plays into the pushing matches. So the defense, you know, they don't, they don't take that too well. So everybody seems to have like a, a thing with, with the opposite uh, team. I think now it's just more just we can't stand every team in the division, you know? Right. And it'll be interesting to play the Washington Redskins now. Was it difficult for you to lose to Sean Jackson as a teammate? Oh, yeah, Sean May is, is a good friend of mine. Um, you know, obviously it was a lot of fun playing with a playmaker like that. But it is a business, um, you know, and, and things happen like this all the time. So it'll be a little different for him on the opposite side of me. But that's how, that's how it goes sometimes. And, and we'll be prepared for him. Uh, he'll be prepared for us. 